What's going on ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to take a look at the best setup possible for every light machine gun aka LMG in Battlefield 2042. In the previous episodes we've gone through all the SMGs and assault rifles. Those two videos will pop up on the top right corner. Make sure to check them out after watching this one. We've also got a playlist now called best setup for every weapon in Battlefield 2042 and I put the link to that down in the description. Give it a look. All the episodes can be found over there. Also, if you're watching this video and you find it helpful, consider leaving a like and also subscribe to the channel because 95% of my viewers are actually not subscribed. You're probably not subscribed watching this video, so do that and don't miss out on the future videos. With all that said, it's time to get things started. The first LMG is LCMG. In my opinion, it's the most versatile LMG of the game. You have different types of grenade launchers. You have the almighty master key, various types of nozzle attachments and a fire rate that can be increased all the way to 810 RPM, so we're facing some monster LMG here. But for the setup itself, I'd like to start with muzzle attachments, and the first slot goes to the shortened barrel. For you guys who don't know, shortened or extended barrels don't have anything to do with damage. It's just about muzzle velocity and fire rate, and in this case, you get 90 RPM more rate of fire, which is just great for close to medium range. Next slot's the wrap suppressor, making you just a little bit stealthy on the radar. And third slot goes to the extended barrel for those long range encounters. Moving on to under barrel, my go to option here is LWG grip, which is really a good one for those faster play styles. I'm not using any laser sight here because first, I don't think it makes much of a difference in terms of hip fire accuracy. And second, we've got the master key for close range, which is an absolute dominator and goes to our second slot. For the third slot, just go with a bipod, which makes a decent combo with the extended barrel if you ever wanted to provide suppressive fire. For ammo, standard issue extended, bent subsonic to match that suppressor, and finally close combat because it also gives you 200 rounds. Weapon sights are always personal preference, but my choice here will be a red dot sight and ghost hybrid to complete the setup looking like this. Next up, we've got the Avances, which is another versatile LMG, but it's more biased towards close range. And I'd like to approach this weapon with this mindset to kind of match its natural desire for those close combat scenarios. So starting off with muzzle attachments, I believe Champion Muzzle Break is the best option here, since a large portion of the recoil is actually vertical. Second slot goes to Rapid Suppressor to help you stay off the radar in close range encounters. And lastly, for long range encounters, I'd go with Extended Barrel. For Under Barrel, this time I prefer STNR Laser Sight over the LWG Grip, just because I want this setup to be as close range friendly as possible. But if you think LWG is your type, go ahead and use that instead. For the second slot, just a bipod should do the trick because after all, this is an LMG. For ammo, standard issue extended, subsonic, and then standard issue should do the trick. And for weapon sight, as usual, I go with a red dot sight and ghost hybrid for longer ranges. The setup should be complete looking like this. Next up, we've got the PKP BP. BP actually stands for bullpup, obviously, because we have a bullpup weapon here. PKP isn't as versatile as other LMGs, and the attachments are not diverse. For muzzle attachments, I'd like to go with the Champion Muzzle Break. I've seen some people playing the Arkham Tactical Muzzle Break, but I just like how Champion feels on this weapon, and I believe it helps reducing that recoil more. This weapon doesn't even support suppressors, and will leave muzzle just like that. For under barrel, you don't even have a choice. You've got a grip and a bipod on the weapon by default, and you just can't change that. For ammo, high power extended, standard issue, and then high power. High power ammo is actually a great advantage for this weapon, at this fire rate and it packs a serious punch. Lastly, for weapon sights, a red dot sight and a ghost hybrid should do the trick and the setup will look like this. Next up, we've got the RPT-31, which is in my opinion, one of the best LMGs in the game. Its damage model is almost the same with LCMG, but it's got an insane muzzle velocity of 1000 meters per second and it's great even in range. For this weapon, I prefer shortened barrel for the first slot. This weapon also has no suppressor, so I'm gonna leave the muzzle just like that with that shortened barrel. For under barrel, I prefer LWG grip for the first slot with a bipod in the second one to enable long range encounters with more accuracy. For ammo, high power extended, standard issue, and high power are going to be your choices. And lastly, for weapon sights, a red dot sight with M22 3.5 times should do the trick, and the setup should look like this. Next weapon is DFR Strife, which is the last weapon that Battlefield 2042 ever got. I gotta say, it's a capable weapon, especially in close range, and it's got a ridiculous muzzle velocity, which is literally comparable to sniper rifles, and in some cases, even better. So starting off, I'd go with the Arkham Tactical Muzzle Break on this weapon, because we've got some horizontal recoil on this weapon, and we don't want that. For Suppressor, I'd go with Wrapped Suppressor to not lose that damage, but if you guys want to use a heavy suppressor and be invisible on the minimap with substandard ammo, you can feel free to do that. 
For under bevel, MGL laser sight is my favorite one. It gives you some hip fire accuracy, which is just great for a weapon like this. And also some recoil control, making this weapon even better in close range. Second slot goes to a bipod so you can have little to no recoil for those long range suppressive fire scenarios. And lastly, for the third slot, Go for your favorite under barrel grenade launcher. Mine is armor piercing, but you can feel free to use whatever you like. For ammo, I highly suggest using the high power as your primary ammo because it provides an insane 1100 meters per second muzzle velocity and more damage for only 20 bullets less. Then go for subsonic to match that suppressor. And lastly, the standard issue should do well. For weapon sights, a red dot and ghost hybrid would be a great match and the setup should look like this. Now let's jump over to Vault LMGs and start off with M60, one hell of a weapon when it comes to accuracy, but the fire rate might hurt your feelings a little bit. For muzzle, factory barrel should be the best option, with the rat suppressor for some stealth. Under barrel is pretty straightforward, LWG grip and a bipod. For ammo, you have only two choices which should be both equipped, and for weapon sights, a red dot paired with ACOG should be enough. Here's how the weapon should look like after all the attachments are in place. Next up we've got the XM8 LMG. A lot of people love this weapon but unfortunately I'm not one. It's a decent weapon but some people just exaggerate about it and I don't think it deserves all that. Anyway, factory barrel with wrapped suppressor for muzzle. For under barrel, LS1 laser sight with a bipod should be alright. For ammo you don't even get to choose and for weapon sights, K8 hollow with ACOG would make a nice pair. The weapon however should look like this. Moving on to M240B and this thing is a banger and deals a lot of damage. Looks super badass especially with an ACOG and really feels good to play with. Again factory barrel and wrapped suppressor and LWG grip with a bipod for under barrel. I gotta say hitting in longer ranges is hard with this weapon even using a bipod because the recoil sometimes gets insanely aggressive but it's just a must on every LMG. For ammo you only have two choices and they both should be equipped and lastly for weapon sights a red dot with an ACOG will be a great pair. The final setup should look like this. Next up we've got the Type 88 LMG and this weapon has some variety when it comes to muzzle attachments. Anyway, I'd rather go with the Champion Muzzle Break here since the recoil of this thing is mostly vertical and the next one should be a wrap suppressor. Just put it there for those stealthy flanks. For under barrel, LS1 laser sight with a bipod should get the job done and for ammo, just equip whatever choice you have because you only have two. For weapon sights, I prefer 8R Holo with Ghost Hybrid and the setup should be complete looking like this. And the last LMG here is the lovely RPK, such a versatile LMG and I guess it's like an LMG manufactured like an assault rifle. Feels really good to play with and it's a crazy weapon. We've got some horizontal recoil on this weapon and because of that Arkham Tactical Muzzle Break should be your go-to option and then a wrapped suppressor for some more stealth. For under barrel, LS1 laser sight paired with a bipod should be fine and for ammo, just equip your only two options. For weapon sights, 8R Holo with an ACOG is my favorite and the setup should be complete looking like this. And here we have it guys, the best setup for every single LMG in Battlefield 2042. Hope you guys enjoyed and hope it was helpful. In the next episode, I'm going to cover all the DMRs, so stay tuned for that. And until next time guys, stay cool.